Hey everybody, it's Jason Shatterk here with Premier Guitar, and we are at the uh, Winter Nam Show here in Anaheim. And I'm at the Santa Cruz booth. That was Catfish Keith, you heard there, and I'm here with the man himself, Richard Hoover. How you doing, man? You know, I I feel at home here. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Comfy. You got good carpet here, or oh, we're styling. Oh, we're great. <laughs> So we're going to be talking about a couple guitars today, but the first one we're going to talk about is this incredible blinged out, as Catfish said, acoustic guitar, which I know has quite a story behind it, Richard. So tell us a little bit about kind of what was the origin of, of making this model. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll start with the premise here. I've been at this about 55 years, and uh, you know, com I come across pieces of wood that are just so cool once in a lifetime. Yeah and I've had enough of a lifetime that I have a nice collection of this. And as a younger person, they, they were too good to use right now. I'd use them later. Well, as you take a look at me, it's later. <laughs> and so this is uh, the time to put these out in the world to go to work, make music, you know, make the world a better place. So these, uh, these woods are special. The theme of all of our woods is they're all responsibly harvested. Uh, reclaimed wood is the best way to do that because old wood sounds better than new wood. We don't have to cut a tree, etc. So the woods on this one, uh, the back and side, Sides are uh, cowrie from New Zealand, and this, these are the size of our sequoia, uh, and they were buried in a cataclysm, and this is carbon dated at 45,000 years old. It, it's just inconceivable. Uh, it's pretty nervous making to work with it because yeah. it's irreplaceable, but it's it's spookily beautiful and deep in its flame, and uh, it, it's still wood. You know, yeah, yeah. it was a, it was in a uh, anaerobic environment, so not decayed. And uh, the the top on this uh, help. <laughs> what what is the top on this one? Uh, oh yeah, this. Okay, okay. this. Just pause one second. And we'll, yeah. we'll cut that. Just start with the top on this one. Okay, uh, Brenda. Demorento Seeker. Okay, great. Okay, ready. So, and the top on this is dear to my heart. You know, I grew up in the redwoods. I love the environment. I love the tree. Uh, and uh, the wood is spectacular tone wood for guitars. And again, old wood sounds better. And this tree, uh, based on the ring count, probably was 1,500 to 2,000 years old as a living tree. And five or 600 years ago, would have tumbled through natural causes into the river that runs by our shop, but much higher elevation and it gets lodged in the boulders and it stayed there uh, until a hellacious you know thousand year storm uh, about 20 years ago it got dislodged went down the river out to the sea and finally came up on the beach in Santa Cruz uh, where we're able to reclaim it so not only is it really beautiful from uh, taking on the mineral in the water but it also uh, is just super good tone wood you know very stiff very nice and it does it, it just gets better with age um, so the natural beauty uh, the story behind it is really personal to me and again something I'd say for a long time to use right uh, this this is a super unobtainable as snake wood uh, people call it letter wood because it looks like you've written on it and that's the binding the bridge and this is stumbled across when they search for latex trees uh, and it's not very big um, but it's beautiful uh, density tonality so the whole idea of this is wood wood with a beautiful story uh, but also the best possible materials we can put into the guitar um, so when you have like these types of wood that are that are so rare how do you kind of figure out which wood would be best for which part of the guitar well we, we you know our special we come from the violin tradition we're not building guitars for efficiency or cost we're building for the best possible sound we can get for that one customer and so uh, the woods are a scale of clarity and you can add uh, a warm blended sounding guitar very clear articulate depending on uh, what people want to play so the woods that are used in the top have a high 
uh, weight to strength ratio. So they're they're resonant, but they're strong, light but strong. Yeah. And the woods for the back and sides are reflecting, reflective. And uh, depending on what the customer's playing style is and what they want, we'll match a wood to that to get that sound for them. And in the case of, of this, it's uh, uh, with a uh, cowrie. It's it's an opportunity to just tell a wonderful story. Now I strongly believe that charity is something you do when nobody's looking. So the involvement we have with this wood with the Aboriginal people in New Zealand, because this is their treasure. You know, it's not a commercial product. So the story goes pretty deep on this. And uh, uh, with with that. It's, it's a really pro, exceptional sounding guitar on top of all the decorative stuff. Uh, you know, the gold inlay, these are all motifs from uh, Maori iconography. And uh, the, the, it, along the lines of sustainability, that, that jewel is not uh, a natural stone, it's laboratory grown because the uh, gemstone trade is anything that's real expensive attracts the bad guys. Yeah. And so we don't want to be part of that food chain and we, so we choose to do the lab grown one on that. Um, so this is uh, uh, just, it's a delight. This is also, this is a wabi uh, shell which is sustainably grown and really pretty and subtle. It doesn't look gaudy like sometimes like abalone. So, Catfish, from like a player's perspective, I know you haven't spent a lot of time with this. What are you f feeling out of this guitar when you play, and what are you hearing? Well, um, it comes down to me that it's a beautiful H13, and I, I love the model, yeah, yeah. and I love the curvy body shape. And um, so it was, when I was first coming to Santa Cruz, it was the H13 that gotcha. first, well, it grabbed me, because uh, we were at Merlefest one year, this is 2011 maybe, and uh, there was an H13 on display there, and I was just drawn to it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just like a uh, you know, moth to a flame or uh, bees to honey, you know. So I love the H13 model, and uh, it's like this type of guitar. Like every time you look at it, you see some like little new detail, like this little the snake wood along here, you know. Yeah, I, it, it's it's super beautiful and gorgeous, and. Uh, it's an honor just to hold the thing, you know. It's one of my favorite designs. The concept is not ours. You know, Gibson came out with a 13 fret Nick Lucas years ago. I don't know if they knew why, uh, but what it does for us is it allows us to do a long scale um, uh, and put the bridge in the proper place. If it was 12 fret or 14 fret, it would be off its optimal position. But 13 fret puts it in the place to drive the best. Catfish, we're going to have you play us out here. Okay. But Richard, thank you so much oh, for hanging. It's a pleasure to talk to you. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. <laughs>